Hey, I know what you're thinking. It's been a while since we have done a one year later video talking about a prospect that was drafted from the 2019 NHL entry draft and checking up with them a year after the draft. Well, Today we're taking a look at a player who doesn't belong to any of the teams that I cheer for. The Vancouver Canucks, the Detroit Red Wings, or the Montreal Canadiens. Today we're taking a look at somebody who, compared to where he was drafted and the talent level that he actually possesses, could honestly be one of the biggest steals of the draft early on, and it's certainly making a case of being one of those players a year removed from draft day. It's the Anaheim Ducks number one prospect from the ninth overall spot, Trevor Zegras, then formerly of the US NTDP, currently of the Boston University Terriers. Who exactly is Trevor Zegras? Well, he is an American-born center winger. He is listed on Elite Prospects, but for the past season, he has been playing as a center. Born March 20th, 2001, he has recently turned 19, and he in fact signed his NHL entry-level contract with the Anaheim Ducks just a few weeks ago. However, in the 2019 NHL entry draft, Trevor Zagros was a guy who a lot of people saw a whole bunch of value in, because in his draft year in 2018-19, he posted up 87 points in 60 US NTDP games. 61 assists, mind you, in those 60 games. He has been labeled throughout the entire draft year as a pure playmaker. And somebody who Jack Hughes even said is probably the most creative player on the entire team. That team was stacked. Hughes, Caulfield, Turcott, Zegris, York, Spencer Knight, Matt Boldy, Dominic Vensori, so many good players. And Trevor Zegris was seen as the best, flashiest, most creative player out of the bunch. This was highlighted even more in his U18 performance, where the guy got 9 assists in 5 games played for the US Under-18 team. Furthermore, going into the 2019 NHL Draft, he was ranked 10th by ISS, 8th by Future Considerations, 5th by HockeyProspect.com, as well as a few other selections in that top 10 range, so you could see the hype building up for this kind of player here. A guy who, on the score sheet, produced at a crazy good assist per game rate, and a guy who, when you watch the highlights, some of the assists that he pulled off made you go, holy goodness, I can't even believe he thought about doing something like that. The vision of Trevor Zagris was so strong, it was almost like he had eyes on the back of his head. He didn't have the elite skating that a Jack Hughes does, or the overall commitment that an Alex Turcott does, but the creativity of this guy to know where his teammates are on the ice at all times and do whatever he can to set people up in a very fashionable, creative, and unexpected kind of way was so valuable, and it's why people saw Zegris as a potential elite playmaker at the NHL level. It's also why people thought he should probably go somewhere in the top six. So, you could imagine the shock of everybody when this guy was available at ninth overall for the Anaheim Ducks to go up there and select with what was probably one of the easiest decisions they have ever had to make. Now, taking a look at things one year removed from that NHL entry draft, Trevor Zagris, who is indeed a newly signed Anaheim Ducks player, by the way, is still living up to that hype. He just wrapped up his first and only year at Boston University, posting up 36 points in 33 games played, with 25 assists on top of that. In terms of freshman scoring in the entire NCAA, Trevor Zagris was tied for third with Cole Caulfield. However, if you remove Nick Abruzzese from the conversation because he is a little bit older than the rest of these guys, and you only look at first-year players who only recently turned of age to be a first-year player in the NCAA, then Zagris is tied for second with Cole Caulfield. Second behind, only Alex Newhook, who we already talked about in a one-year-later video as well. Zegris, though, led the bunch in terms of assists, because on top of him in terms of freshman assists is Abruzzese, and tied with him is Lucas Souter, who was born in 1998, so he's certainly much older. Case in point, where Cole Caulfield is arguably the best 18-year-old NCAA freshman goal scorer, Trevor Zegris is arguably the best 18-year-old NCAA freshman assist guy, so they complement each other very well. 
Furthermore, that World Juniors performance in the 2020 World Juniors was something out of a crazy, crazy storybook. We talked about Cole Caulfield before in previous videos and how he wasn't really doing all too well at the World Juniors. A lot of that had to do with deployment. In general, though, a lot of people had a lot of concern with how the Team USA roster was being handled on the ice. But Trevor Zagros was a guy who also kind of faced similar struggles. It's just, he dealt with them a lot better than Cole Caulfield did. But if you look at the score sheet, you wouldn't really notice it. Because in five games played, Trevor Zegras had nine assists. The guy was an absolute stick of dynamite. In the World Juniors Tournament for U20 players, he pulled off the exact same amount of numbers that he had in the U18 Tournament a year before. And he did it with a very limited amount of ice time. Zegras' first nine assists, which were the only points that he got, came in 45 minutes of ice time at the World Juniors, meaning that he set up a goal every five minutes he was out there. And these goals weren't for the faint of heart. They were the crazy on-the-rush spinorama, shove it through like three opponents before finding a tape-to-tape -tape open side winger on the other side of the net kind of goals. They were incredible, and we saw Trevor Zagris throughout this tournament as he ended up playing towards the end as a second liner pretty much, and he led the entire tournament in assists, which is great for a guy who was literally only 18. Meanwhile, the Cole Caulfields of the tournament, they were being played with, like, Drury and John Beecher on the second line. Drury's a two-way guy. John Beecher's a power forward, kind of big center to shut things down. So it's really weird how USA was handled entirely at that tournament. But Zegris was a guy who, even though he had the limited ice time, he still produced. And he still found ways to show off his value. So it's no surprise to me that he was so good for BU, even though BU wasn't one of the better teams in the Hockey East program this season. They were actually in the middle of the pack, sixth out of the 11 teams in that conference. BU that season had a total of 103 goals scored, and Trevor Zegras had 36 points, meaning that out of all the BU goals scored, Trevor Zegras was involved in 35%, and that is a very, very strong number. That's a higher involvement rate than Cole Caulfield did with the Badgers this past season, since Cole Caulfield did have the same amount of points as Zegers did, even though Caulfield was playing on a team that scored more goals in general. So now, as a contract signee, Trevor Zegers is looking to make the NHL full-time next season, and if he does do that, he'll be next up in a line of former BU Terriers to play a year at Boston University and go to the NHL immediately after. Guys like Jack Eichel have done this before. Guys like Brady Kachuk and Clayton Keller have done this before. And that's a very great list. There aren't too many guys who spend a freshman year at BU, then go over to the NHL and do well. And Trevor Zegras could be the very next one in that lineup. And who knows? This guy honestly does have Calder potential if he's able to thrive in the NHL the same way he thrived in the NCAA, the World Juniors, and all that. The Ducks are a team that are looking to build on skill and speed a little bit more, and Trevor Zegers will give you that. Sure, I said that he doesn't have the franchise elite skating like a Jack Hughes does, but Trevor Zegers is a really speedy player in his own right, and his creativity in passing takes him up and beyond the normal NHL prospect. So pair this guy in Anaheim with the snipers you have, in Jakob Silverberg. Let this guy play with a Ricard Raquel, and all of a sudden your power play is going to be seeing some very, very, very beautiful looking goals that you wouldn't even think of seeing before they happen right in front of your eyes. Because that is the magic that Trevor Zegras is able to pull off. He did that all throughout the NCAA. He did that all throughout the US NTDP last year. He did that at the World Juniors. And it's a very, very determining and establishing trait that makes him so different from any other hockey player in the world. In his prime, Trevor Zegras could legitimately be a 60-65 assist NHL forward, and he could honestly be the most productive Anaheim Duck year after year after year. Depending on what happens in this year's draft, if they get themselves like a sniper, like Alexander Holtz or a Jack Quinn, Ooh, boy, imagine the possibilities. I am 
grinning so hard just thinking about that. So I hope you enjoyed this video talking about Trevor Zegers. Comment down below what you think about the player, the prospect, and the team. Social that's Rolls 99, and bye. <laughs>